Okay, what we're going to look at now is uh, the elimination reaction from a halogenoalkane to an alkene. Okay, you can see another video of a halogenoalkane forming an alcohol, which is a substitution reaction, uh, and the two different ways that that can happen. But what we're going to concentrate on is this reaction here. Okay, so we're going to be looking at how a halogenoalkane with OH- can form an alkene, and it's a type of elimination reaction. So what we're going to start with is a halogenoalkane like this. We've got a 2 bromopropane, and we're going to react it with some form of OH-. So this could be sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, and it generally, in this reaction, will give you the best result if you use ethanol. So the OH is dissolved in ethanol rather than water, uh, and in this case, the OH is acting as a base. A base is something that wants a hydrogen ion, so there are lots of different hydrogens that we could take, okay? And it's going to take any of these hydrogens around the edge. It can't take this hydrogen, and we'll be able to see why in a minute. So this lone pair forms a new bond with that hydrogen there. This hydrogen now doesn't need these two electrons in this bond here, because it's already got a bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen. So these two electrons drop down into the carbon and form a double bond between that carbon and this carbon because there will now be four electrons in that bond. Because this bond, this carbon has now got too many electrons, we'd have two, four, six, eight, ten, we've got to lose something from this carbon. Okay, and the electrons in here are already very close to this bromine bond because this being a delta positive carbon, delta negative bromine, okay, these electrons jump onto the bromine to give us our final product. Okay? Now, our final product will look something a bit like this. So we have a carbon with a double bond that we formed from our uh, hydrogen carbon bond breaking. We've still got on here a CH3 uh, and a hydrogen that haven't changed. We've lost the bromine from that carbon. We've also got our two hydrogens that haven't been removed on there. Along with this alkene, we also have water and a Br- ion. Okay? So we've ended up with more things than we started, which is one of the definitions for elimination reaction. The other thing is that we form a, a double covalent bond. Okay? So we started with um, a single bond, we've ended up with a double covalent bond, that's the definition for an elimination reaction. Now what we've got to try and remember about this reaction is that the OH minus acts as a base, okay, and it takes place in ethanol rather than in water. Okay, so it's very important that you remember them when you're completing this mechanism.